And if you think back on it, the first three years of this administration, the results really speak for themselves. We saw businesses, large and small, create more than 7 million jobs, including 500,000 manufacturing jobs, of which 48,000 new automotive jobs were created in just three years. You know, when I was tapped to lead the coronavirus task force in late February, we were using the old system of testing, where you send samples to a state lab or you send them to the CDC. I mean, we'd only done a few thousand tests by the end of February. But because the president brought together massive commercial labs in this country, challenged them to step forward and meet this moment, we're actually testing more than 500,000 Americans every single day, and we'll soon have tested 30 million Americans all across this country. Even as we began to open up America in the month of May, we actually saw the largest one-month increase in jobs in American history, three million jobs created. And that was before more than half of small businesses were even open yet. And a lot of economists actually predicted that we would lose 8 million jobs that month. The unemployment rate might hit 20 percent, but if you didn't hear about it, not only did we create 3 million jobs last month, but, uh, but the unemployment rate didn't go up to 20 percent. It actually dropped down from 14 percent to 13 percent, and we're continuing to see unemployment cl claims steadily decline across the country. America's coming back.